So one of the places that type parameters really get in your face, even when you're trying to ignore them in Java, is in Javadoc. We've seen this a few times, and what I've told you is just squint and, you know, the, make the type parameters vanish. But let's confront them head on here. So I'm looking at the diet documentation for the list interface. And as we pointed out, interfaces in Java, along with classes, can also accept type parameters. And what you'll see is, as I'm starting to try to actually understand what the list interface does, right away I'm greeted with the type parameter that's part of the uh, declaration. And this is because a list in Java accepts a type parameter, and the type parameter is the type of the elements. Um, and you'll see this is one of the first things that's included in the Java doc. It says type parameter is E, the type of elements in this list. And then let's see where E is used throughout this Java doc. So I'm sort of scrolling through the um, things here, but look at here. Add. Add takes an argument of type E. So if I create a list of strings, I have to, when I call add, I have to pass a string. Um, so we see it in the parameters, and this happens quite a few places. We'll also see it over here on the left in the return type. So get, when I retrieve something from a list that I've created with the type parameter, what I get back is an instance or a reference to something with that type, right? So if I create a list of integers, I have to put integers into it with set, and or add and I get things out when I get when I when I call get and pass an index what I get is an integer or whatever the type parameter is so here's an example uh, here let's look at something else so we'll look at uh, Java map Java doc um, you find this all over the place so again same thing map two type parameters explain right up front the key and the value so maps uh, store mappings from a key to a value um, both the key and the value are type parameters to the map. So I can create maps from that map from any type of Java object to any other type of Java object, but to use them safely, I provide those type parameters when I declare the map. So uh, again, let's go down here and look at the Java doc and we'll see K and V uh, throughout here. So uh, let's see here, uh, you know, get, right? So get takes a key uh, and returns uh, a value. I don't know why uh, the type parameter isn't used here. That's kind of interesting. Um, now here's an interesting example. So uh, get or default. So this uh, returns uh, a, a value of the same type that I parameterize the map with, um, but it also requires that I pass as an argument. So again, we see K and we see V throughout this documentation. And so a lot of times when you read Javadoc, even for even if, again, you're not super comfortable with type parameters yourself, using them in your own code, when you even when you explore the Javadoc for some pretty basic interfaces and implementations of those interfaces, you're going to see those type parameters. So again, uh, you'll see this both on the interface and then if I go to a hash map, for example, which is one of our uh, the classes that uh, comes in the Java standard library that implements the map interface, you'll see the type parameters here as well. Um, and so just something to be comfortable with, uh, something to get familiar with, not something to be scared of, right? So when we see those triangle brackets, we see stuff in between, those are type parameters. This is the Java generic system. It's something that allows the compiler to help us write better code. Uh, typically when you write code using an IDE, you're going to be expected to use type parameters. They are very powerful and they're helpful. So if you try to use a map without them, you'll get these error messages or a warning that won't go away that says, you know, um, use of a, sometimes it's called a raw, um, unparameterized hash map, right? And, and Java will say, no, no, don't do that. It's not a good idea. You can avoid a lot of mistakes by, by using type parameters properly. So I uh, just wanted to show you uh, what they look like in Javadoc so uh, you're not freaked out when you see them and you'll get comfortable with them as you uh, spend more time working with Java and growing the language.